Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Viva La K. If you're new and if you're returning, what it do? So today I'm making cranberry juice. It's so simple and easy to make and it only requires three ingredients. So this is all you'll need. And yeah, let's hop into it. So, so first thing first, you wanna go ahead and put your cranberries into a strainer and take out all the bad ones and then go ahead and give it a wash. So right now I'm just plucking out all of the cranberries that don't look too good because we don't need that in our juice. Okay, so actually you can wash them after you pluck out the bad ones or you can pluck out the bad ones then wash it. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as you wash them before putting them into the pot. You have to make sure you wash them thoroughly before putting them into your pot because once they go in the pot, that's when you'll be adding your spring water. Okay, so right now I'm about to fill up the pot with 10 cups of water. The 10 cups of water will fill up two and a half mason jars. So if you would like more cranberry juice, I just advise you pouring in the whole gallon if it could fit in your pot. So now you want to add in your thoroughly washed cranberries and go ahead and put it on a medium heat and allow it to go ahead and come to a boil. But once it start boiling, you should allow it to boil you for about, I'm going to say 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how much water you're using, but about 25 to 30 minutes. You will know because all of the cranberries will have bust open and you'll water will not be clear anymore it'll be red so right here as you can see they didn't start busting yet it's still clear spring water at the bottom so give it some more time okay so i gave it a few minutes and it's still not ready yet so i just came to check on it and mix it up a little bit but it's not completely done because all of the cranberries didn't bust open yet so we're gonna allow that to sit a little longer and come back and check on it. Okay, so when your cranberries are light in color like this and they all look like they have bust open, that's when you know it's ready. You see how some of them are falling apart because is ready it did its job all of the good nutrients and juice are out of them so you can go ahead and turn your heat off yep they should look just like that go ahead turn your heat off and allow it to cool down a little and then you'll start to add your sweetener after they cool down also the color should be a dark red like this one right here and that'll be another sign to let you know that it's ready. That looks so good. Y'all, this juice was 10 out of 10. I don't think I would ever buy Ocean Spray again. Matter of fact, I don't, I know I'm not buying Ocean Spray again. This was so good. For my sweetener, I decided to use the organic blue agave nectar which is a much healthier choice than using sugar or you can also use honey which is a great healthy option 
opposed to sugar. So right now I'm just taking out all of the cranberries, as many as I can get so that it won't clog up the strainer when it's time to strain. Okay, so now that I have all of that pulled out for the most part, I'll go ahead and start adding my sweetener to my juice and just start giving it a taste test. See if you like it. If not, add more. I did three squeezes. I don't know how to measure that, but I did three squeezes for mine because I like my sweet. So yeah, just do a taste test and see if y'all like it. If it's not tasting like Ocean Spray, then you need to go ahead and add some more sweetener to it. Like I did. I was like, okay, yeah, that's not enough. I need to add more. And then I went and did it again, as you'll see in the video. But yeah, once I was finished adding all of my agave, it turned out to be really delicious. Okay, it was still a little bitter, so I had to go ahead and add more. Yep, I did. I wanted mine to be sweet because cranberries are very bitter. Okay, so after that last squeeze, it was perfect. It was really good. So, yes, y'all gonna see some cranberries floating at the top. Those were the ones that I couldn't really scoop out, so we had to go ahead and get this smaller strainer, which is right here. You'll see my boyfriend helping me strain it. And we put a bowl in the sink, so anything that we missed, we just poured it back into the jars. Making this juice was so quick and easy and it was really fun like it just makes you feel like you just unlocked another part of yourself that you didn't know about so you want to make sure you strain that really well and just keep repeating the steps until all of your juice is poured into the jars so like I was saying at the beginning of the video the 10 cups of water will fill up two and a half mason jars. And now we're finished. Please let me know if this recipe works out for you all. Let me know what y'all think about it. And if you make a video like this one, please make sure you tag me. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also share, share, share. And this, this juice was just 10 out of 10. No more ocean spray. Make your own at home. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.